Multi Man on Track Join us every Saturday on Facebook or YouTube at 8.30 Man to Man Conversations where we tackle current challenges facing men, young and old with the help of experienced presenters and specialists with the aim of changing the narrative and raising God-fearing men loving husbands, responsible fathers and productive sons you will surely love this vibrant engagement MOT men on track indeed I'm a man ah, my daughter greetings once again uh, in our wonderful program <laughs> Reverend Boiki Mudise in our wonderful program, Men on Track Talk Show. Yes, today uh, we are busy, you know, addressing this this uh, this topic, gender-based violence. I think we started that topic two weeks ago now. Mm. Yes. So today is going to be an exciting, ex a very very exciting day. Today, Bomakhokholwana, Kastwana, Bomakhokholwana. They're not going to participate in this program, you know, uh, myself and, 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 and Reverend Mudise. Today, we have invited, you know, experts really, you know, professionals, you know, in the space of gender-based violence. You know, I'm really excited, uh, uh, Mudise, today that uh, they will be sharing with us, you know, the information, the knowledge, you know, the wisdom around the topic in uh, gender-based violence. You know, before we go, Anyway, let me give you know, each, each and every one an opportunity. I can do medicine, but I'm made well up But I'll, I'll come back to introduce, you know, our guest. You know, yes. let me start with you, Muruti. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, this is the day that the Lord has made. And, you know, it's a wonderful day. And it's always a wonderful opportunity to see you, to be with you. And, you know, this is how we are doing it, Muruti. And, uh, um, you know... Uh, looking at the issue of gender-based violence it is very rife uh, okay. but we are here to join like-minded men, men. Yes. who boldly declare Hore, i am a man and i'm taking my position not in my name it's not going to happen in my name and yeah jolokaha ntatemrabe has said it uh, we are having our guests today that are going to be explaining further and giving us more detail. Yeah, greetings to you. It's Muruti Boike Mudise, the psalmist in the house. Good Thank morning. You. Thank you, Muruti. <laughs> and, and, and just by way of introduction, you know, today mm. we, we have uh, Dr. Matilda Molefe, mm. you know, in the house, you know. Uh, Dr. Matilda Molefe is a counseling psychologist in a private practice. Mm. Uh, she's in the house today and mema molefe bilo ngo tsele buka you know around this issue in a gender based violence so 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 we we're going to lean so much so let me give mema molefe an opportunity just to, to to say greetings to 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 our viewers at home greetings in the name of jesus my name is matilda molefe as ntatemura said i am a psychologist in private practice go find bail park um, in my practice, mostly I see a lot of gender-based violence and this is a topic that is very, very close to my heart. I'm also a victim in a way I grew up in a very, very violent space. So I took it upon myself to research deeply this gender-based violence so that um, maybe I can make a difference and create awareness out there. Hori, what is this gender-based violence? So I hope Hori and take this topic out there so that people learn Hori what this abuse is. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Mr. Mulefe, thank you so much, you know, for gracing us, you know, for coming into this program just to come and share with the viewers, you know. And then, uh, Kinale, Renal, today we are so grateful, you know, that we have Obabo Sanele Mtembu, 
you know, Babusane Lemtembu is a social worker, you know, employed by Department of Social Development uh, at, at Siboke Hood Co-op offices, you know, and, and his area of interest is gender-based violence. I think he is coming from that department. Babusane Lemtembu, Abala Lili, and then just, just make some introduction. Welcome, Baba. Thanks for the opportunity. Greetings to the viewers at home. Kamala Musanele, Ngwagam Tiembu. I'm a gender-based violent social worker and based in La Esibukeng. So this is a big issue. And it's not affecting only Ilokuzana, if I'm a family is a Shala now, but it affects the whole nation. So hence, that is why the president employs more social workers as well as gender-based violence. So I grew up with a community in a violent ending. Mm -hmm. So that is why I've decided to win a social worker. And fortunately, I was employed as a GPV social worker. So today, I'm hoping that this is the same as Balalele Makaya, Nani Bugele Makaya. Oh, Sabo, yo, uh, Reverend Mudise, you remember the, the president said we have a second pandemic. You yeah. know? It's actually the first pandemic, sure. you know. And the baseball has been there, you know, mm -hmm. for years, for years, for years, you know. Yo, let's start, you know, let's start. Reverend Mudise, you know, um, panel. This, what is this gender-based violence, you know? And, and then I just want to introductory, you know, a, a comments, you know, very briefly, and, and, and what are those things that we need to, to look at, you know? Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, Babu Sanele wants to take it, yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Gender-based violence is a complex, it's, it's a complex issue. Mm. And then, let me differentiate between gender-based violence and domestic violence. So each gender-based violence is a violence that is directed, it's either to a woman or to a kuma, kuma children at, at large. And then a domestic violence, it's a violence that is, pay, that is directed to only a, 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 a based kuma families at Ekaya. It can be umama no baba or kungaba ilukuzana isingana at large. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, to add on that, particularly in the family, um, this is where this gender-based violence starts mm -hmm. uh, in unhealthy family relationships. Wow. Whereby you find Huri Ndate is violent, or me for that matter, because it is gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. uh, we solve the problem see, through fights, bashings, emotional abuse. And now, the children are growing up thinking that problems are solved through violence. Mm. The boys, when they grow up, they get to abuse their women because they've never seen their mother happy. Mm. They don't know what happiness is in the family. Mm. So they take it through the generations. Mm. And then the girl child believes that you have to enjoy this abuse. Mm. And then with time, you find that these social ills are being actually fueled by the anger, bitterness mm. from these children that grew up in such families. Wow. So today we have very angry male people who bashes their partners mm. because they, they've learned that from their own homes. Mm. So my recommendation is let's heal the family first. Wow. Wow. If we can win that battle, then I think this case will end. Sure. That's, that's powerful. You know, um, I think also we need to determine first as to where does this start? Um, because like oh mama is saying um here's a child growing up in a family where uh, the parents are already in it mm -hmm. so it means that even when you taking it from the parents perspective mm -hmm. it started somewhere because i don't think there's anybody who is born an abuser i don't think that there's mm -hmm. anybody who is born uh, a, a person that is violent maybe if you can help us to tell us where does all this start whether from my grand great great grand parents and, and all that, where did they take it from? What is the root to all this? Yeah, B because 
Linda, you know, uh, Dr. Malefe, Babum uh, Tembo, you know, what surprised me, ne, it's like, you know, we've been, we've been talking about this issue, you know, uh, and sort of, you know, saying to the society, this has to stop, you know, but instead of stopping, I think every day you add, you have an add, add on, you know, of, a, of an abuser or somebody in the system, you sure. know, and that really what bothers me, you know, it, it, it looks like in instead of this thing, it, has, it, has, it, 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 it increases, you know, and, and I just want to find out, you know, but what is the cause of this thing? Why increase uh, despite, you know, so much information out there? You know, despite so much, you awareness know, campaigns, and, mm. awareness, and all those things. But why is this thing still continuing? Daddy, if you can trace back before we were born, before maybe some of you were, were born, um, if a woman marries to a, a, to a certain family, tiwa gemtanami umfazu ya begezela, unkoskazu ya begezela. So, this thing I call man, it started long ago. Mm -hmm. So, in such an instance that if she is being abused, mm -hmm. so when I go report to Taibo, either emotionally, financially, psychologically. Mm -hmm. So, to a matri reporter, guma elders, guma families, to a emtanami, this thing, mele si put under carpet. So it started there, and then it, it's, it's escalated up until today. Mm. Mm. Dr. Hey. Dr. you mentioned something like, you know, we need to heal our families. You know, you know that really hit me, you know. And, and perhaps maybe you can, you want to share something, you know, in that line? Or um, healing the families, um, it will start by acknowledging the problem mm. in the family. And uh, the one that is hurting must seek help. Yes. Because if you are hurting, you are going to hurt other people. Yes. So there's this belief or tendency to say men don't cry. Mm. And they hold grudges. They sit with unfinished businesses, which now they, they actually act it out on their partners. Mm. So briefly, I can say seek psychological help, seek pastoral help heal so that you don't hurt other people yeah you, you know the what i realize uh, you you'll help me as as professionals um we we seem to be having a reactive approach management system where we are reacting to the problem more than trying to seek the the real cause as to what it is. Like uh, taking what Ubab Sanele is saying, that previously in the old system, the, the, when the woman is having trouble at her marriage, then she would be told, Uguti, we are mm. But now, this one who is abusing her, mm. where does he take that from? Did he learn it from his father? Mm. Or, or, or what? Because now, um, one would say the woman was trained to take it, to absorb it. Mm. But the giver, mm. the, 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 the perpetrator, what, wh where, where, where is he feeding from? Because mm. as you, 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 you rightly said, uh, uh, now we are having an increase. There's a spike in this thing. <laughs> It's because we, we are more reactive instead of going to the real problem. We're treating the symptoms instead of mm -hmm. going to the real problem. So um, the question, yeah, where is, where is it coming from? Maybe if we can identify that, mm -hmm. then we can be able to, to manage it better. I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to the doctor, uh, uh, Orena, uh, what would you say about that? Um. I'll just um, add on what the brother said mm. about Bomakoti. Uh, mm. How are they uh, being treated mm. in families? I think another chief cause that needs to be attended to our cultural and traditional practices. Mm. Uh, you find that if a woman goes to marry, 
tie na a la wang and you listen to those um instructions that are given to a woman hore how oppressive they are musadi o tshwara thipa ka bohaleng meaning that no matter how hard it is you cannot leave this marriage and then there's this other one that i don't like in particular hore musadi o ngala motshiwo meaning that um even if it can be so tough and uh, there are lots of things selling that are the root cause of this mm. uh, in terms of oppressing women mm. um there's this thing ya hore monna ke slepe o lala aka dingwe you know these are, these are all the instructions that are given to a woman hore we, we should understand them mm. and then the men just told nothing hore no it's a my hlokomelela la pala and that's it mm. things like communication respect a uh, mutual understanding are, are not being communicated to this couple so i think happy you know the root cause yeah. we need to 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 change now and maybe put them together here and and, and and teach them the meaning of love the importance of communication how to bring up their children how to invest you know i, I think in the new era these are the instructions so 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 di ka gona hore di change this because mm. uh, for me i feel it is the root cause particularly amongst the black people sure. you know even the factor that you you you, you, you know lobo has been paid for you so i can use and abuse you because i bought you I can, no. i'm sure I'm, i'm sure then this points to to a you know a multifaceted sort of you know strategy in terms of addressing this because mm. then i understand that there must be a whole lot of whole players really that must come you know to the party so that we, exactly. we get to address this thing mm. even know. patriarchy mm. even patriarchy mm. you know for that matter you know mm. i don't know baba for no for no baba just to add on the quick question from dada mm. another thing kuma families at uh, what is what happened kuma families it usually if ubaba exabana no mama and then ama ama ingane zilena fast so in such an instance that if ubaba esemsebenzini ezobuya ezendlini if ubaba esemsebenzini ezobuya ezendlini so ingane zibanalo ukuthi uyabuya manje ubaba we are buya manje uzokwenza okuthize kumama so these children ziyakhula by the time zikhula then the very same thing ebenze umama lo ebenze umama kuba kuma partners abo so if usezienza ziyaqhuba zigender based violence lokho seke sibizwa ngokuthi intimate gender intimate a uh, partner violence mm. so ama partners if esexabana owodwa enze lokho zana eshayana and then kuqhubeka lapho ke You and know? again oh sorry yeah to 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 add to add on that that to answer mm. your question happy yeah, 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 the root cause um how we 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 bring up our children mm. at home um boys and girls as a girl you are prepared to be wait mm. so saying fiela mabala it's your role mm. but now as a boy you are told hurry you, you have to take care of you are the heir of the family you've, you've got to take care of of the estates and everything you, you get taught those things mm. so women are being prepared for marriage whereas boys mm. are empowered mm. to to be responsible people that will take care of the lineage mm. so if that as well can change how we bring up our daughters and and and, and our sons mm. they are equal they are equally important mm. no child is better than the other mm. they should be raised the same the boy must wash dishes the girl must also go to the garden if need be yeah just just briefly you, you know i think listening to this thing you know as a society you know as south africans really we need conversations you know across the board you know across the board in churches you know in our communities you know so that this thing can be addressed you know it's a pity that we don't have a blueprint you know to say and this is how a man behaves you know but in essence god has given us a blueprint 
you know yeah we how le motho sa ntso pelelwa you know eh issues sa bolerato issues sa your relationship you know with regards to other people you know those are very important you know but very briefly before we go to the show yet i just want to find out you know can we deal with the profile of a of a you know a person that is involved or is it or at the risk of a who participate in more gender based violence a profile is there something kune kune zimpawo esizibonayo you know are the signs that we see can we deal with that yes there are signs of course mm. uh, Uguchi, uh, a person is is a potential abuser okay in fact, unresolved anger. Okay. You know, the way I solve the problems, yes. the, 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 the language okay. that he uses, mm -hmm. um, temperament. So, language, temperament, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. facial expression. Facial expression. Sure. Mm. Yes. Threats. Threats. Sure. Okay. Just to concur with, mm. with what you have said about the Ama. Just to con concur what you have said about um, our conversation with regards to gender-based violence. So, Runa, as social workers, Gazala TSD, we have a men and boys program where we are grooming a boy child. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Yama girls where we are grooming a also a girl child. Mm -hmm. So I think this will collaborate with, with, with ours. I, I, I think that, that that's a, that's a wonderful mm. point. And where does this happen, Babu Sanel? You know, just for for the benefit of our community. Um, we have our programs as mm. So we see, see a plan which is Warana. Okay. Not which is Warana daily the, on, okay. on a daily basis. Okay. So we plan which is Wednesday. Is it? Is. Uh, I'm looking and, and I'm, 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 I'm appreciating the fact that we have girls and boys programs, but in terms of family structure, the general family, where, because if we see, we're dealing with the child uh, or the children, but we neglect the father, um, this child will still go back to that very same environment, environment. same environment yes. Yeah. yes where ubaba is still bashing umama or umama is still uh, bashing ubaba and now when we go to the community we find what we are trying to help the children but the structure at home the foundation mm -hmm. is not good so from you as professionals um what would you say to somebody who's sitting down listening to us who is ubaba saying i also need this help mm. how can I see that I have a problem how can where can I get the help that I need like I said in that you know but uh, when I from a place of woundedness mm. so it is very much important for them to seek help psychological help going to psychologist pastoral help and uh, over and above um, you know, organizations such as Men on Track, I mm. think they are there to build the men up. Mm. And equally so, I think women need to stand up as well. We, we run workshops, we run, um, we create awareness seminars um, in terms, and, and maybe family um, meetings. Yes. Whereby we teach families how, how, how things are done and how to deal with issues as they rise. Yes. Particularly those that cause tension. You, 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 know, what pains, you know what pains me, you know, colleagues? Mm. You know, certainly, Dr. Mulefe, you know, we need, you know, more on, on the family intervention. Sure. So we need that more, you know. You know what pains me with our society is, you know, when such interventions, you know, have been arranged, you know, they're out there, you know, I don't know whether it's it's apathy or something else. You know, people simply neglecting that. You know, you get men instead of going to the same event that will empower him. You know, for his family, say no, ye bolweni today. You know, naki I decide to go to a ball or maybe to to, to something. There's a get together somewhere. Yeah. You know, the, these are type of things. You know, that our society you know do not take seriously. You know, mm. but. What can we do? You know, what is it that we can do? You know, so that a man sitting there at home, you know, 
so that you can understand, you know, the importance, you know, because I think in the next program we must touch on how this thing manifests itself, you know, yeah. out there, because then maybe it will open some other people's eyes, you know. Yeah. But, but, but I think the, a sense of agency, it looks yeah. like we don't have that motive, you know, yeah. it's like it's business as usual, yeah. you know, despite the fact that we've been talking. Yeah, you know, you know, there is these myths or ideologies that going to a psychologist it means mm. that you you, you, uh, you are weak uh, you're weak yeah. or uh, excuse the term mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes. 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 psychologists are for people that are retarded mm. and, and, and mm. crazy mm. Kanti, this is something that is beneficial people don't we, we don't like to go for counseling mm. as families mm. before marriage um, yeah. here's a boy uh, and a girl they are not yet husband and wife they're not ready they don't know what's going on there's no formula and when we think of counseling, people see it as a bad thing. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be talking to a Muruti. I mean, that Muruti is also having problems in mm. his house. Mm. So what is he going to tell me that I, I don't need, I don't, I don't already know? And this is the problem. Maybe if people can have, or if you can have that awareness that uh, everyone understand what he you guys are not a monster mm. uh, and mm. another thing yes. men of god mm. is that people men in general we, we don't like doctors that we do not like mm. you, you know mm. what uh, 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 colleagues you know um i think we just have to go we're going to have to close this program but before we close this program you know i think we'll continue you know in the next session still dealing with this program dr Malefe, just before we close it I know you've written a book. What is the name of the book, and what does it, you know, cover? You know, briefly, maybe in a minute. Or so, um, this book is called um, "Women Abuse the Scourge of All Times." Mm -hmm. uh, it was inspired, like I said, by my background. Yeah. As I said, that I grew up in a very abusive uh, family, mm -hmm. and then it was also inspired by the killing of my friend by her husband uh, actually chopped her head off mm. and even today her head was not found so mm. i thought you know let me just write this book and create awareness out there sure what but this <laughs> abuse is and then briefly it covers things like the types of abuse yeah. the signs of abuse yeah. Uh, the impact of abuse on the individual, the children, the significant others, yes. and the causes of abuse. Wow. And wow. why do men abuse women? And what traps women in abusive relationships? Mm -hmm. So basically, that's what I, I, I looked at. Mm. Medi, you know, be ready for the next program. You know, we'll be dwelling more on this on this on this topic Moruti. you know i say join men who boldly declare i'm, I'm a man, man. <laughs>